And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League, the group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Milan. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Marco Verratti starts alongside Fabian in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Retaining possession proving difficult. Asensio. And you need your defender to take charge. Mbappe, fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Giroud, and crossing towards the far post, a decisive clearance it was. Chance to take the lead. Well, what a stop that was. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Mbappe. Dembele. And he takes it on! Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Can they take advantage? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. 
And then it's a clinical finish from Verratti. The outcome was never in doubt. You just knew he would score from there. Milan get the game restarted. Can they come up with a coherent answer? Ficayo Tomori. And a good looking pass. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Given away by the Rossoneri. Oh, lovely ball. And PSG pushing to add to their lead. It'll be a corner. Over it comes. And clearing is away. Well, thumps clear. Mbappe. Opportunity. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again, and he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0 Dembele committed challenge And intercepted it. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Well, not too far away at all, but getting underneath it ever so slightly. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Dembele, Marco Asensio waiting to pounce. Well, no problems defensively. Into the advanced position. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Played in there. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. But just look at the space he has. He doesn't even have to jump. Of course it's a good finish, but the marking is woeful. So there we have it, 2-1. Fabian. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Good pressure, can they make something of this? And still danger here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris.
Well, who wouldn't want to have Kylian Mbappe in their side? Stewart, a key component of his team. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Hernandez. Leal. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Dembele. Chance for Dembele. Oh, a clinical counter-attack. And so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. Rafael Leao. Really good challenge. And slipped through beautifully. It's got to be. Superb stop. He's given us away. This is looking threatening. Textbook defending inside the box. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Can he take advantage? Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And there's the delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Good work from PSG to win it back. Firing it towards goal. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. He's decided to award the free kick to PSG. Into the box it goes. And they deal with the threat this time. This might be ideal for the counter. Olivier Giroud. And the fine tackle. And threaded through by Mbappe. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Oh, and it goes! Now they're level. Who saw this coming? Incredible! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. 20 minutes to go in this one. Aimed towards Marco Asensio. And an effective clearance. Mbappe. And a goal! It is to put them in front again! No less than they deserve! Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider.
And into the last 15 minutes of action. Into the advanced position. But the danger averted for now. Can they hit on the break? Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. And they will make the change now. Oh, he's lost possession. And Pulisic has it. Losing possession here. And teammates around him. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Low ball in. Well, they can bring it out now. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Leal. Oh, he looks threatening. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The PSG fans are driving their players on. Surely they can hold out here. Fabian. Well, what a good stop to keep them in this. Well, that would have been game over. Not long left now, though. Substitution then. Let's see. How... Well, full marks to him for that header. But the goalkeeper did his job. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. They favoured a short one here. by very much yeah he adjusted his body so well there it's a great piece of skill and it probably deserved a goal Mbappe Mbappe well really fine goalkeeping good diving stop So the corner played into the box. Well, that's really... So full-time it is, and a morale-boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Well, you always want to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what they've done here. Now they can look forward to the next game. They're in a great position. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.